Hello and welcome back to Rift Wizard. I'm trying um, to learn how to play well, and I'm failing. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm doing as, as good as I can. I think we're gonna go arcane this time. Enchantment is tempting, but I don't think I have the brain for enchantment. So we're gonna go arcane. Very, very by the book wizardry. You know, like nothing, nothing too complicated. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna learn an arcane spell. The best one we have to start with is Magic Missile. Classic, classic spell. Can't can't get much more vanilla than that. So we're gonna we're gonna do some Magic Missile. We're gonna cast it at the darkness. Uh, you don't know, get to probably pick up some elves at the bar. You know you know how it is. You know the the, the jokes. I know I just missed one of my spells. That's like not not okay. I guess I could have reached the gate. I didn't have to like come all the way over here. As long as I have line of sight. And th these are these are gaps in the ground. Okay, let's grab some SP and head to the arcane circle. This is a very bizarre map. Um, we have eight spells left. Let's head here and um, grab another spell. Okay. Arcane. Blaz Rip. Blaze Rip. Deals 12 arcane and 12 fire in a 7 tile line perpendicular to the caster. Disperse, teleport all units in a 3 tile radius to random locations. Interesting. I kind of like that. Um, what do we? Let's look at one of the, the big ones. Each turn, fire a lightning bolt at the farthest enemy in line of sight, dealing uh, 40 lightning damage in a beam. You cannot move or cast spells. Gain physical resist, let fire resist, lightning resist, charges. Um, last five turns. An interesting idea. I don't know if it's something we should take right away. Uh, each turn, inflict petrify on up to three unpetrified enemy units. This does arcane damage. I think we maybe want to take other spells that do arcane damage, like, um, what was it, Devour Mind? Deal 25 arcane to an enemy unit. Then if the target is under 50% HP, deal it an additional 25 dark damage. Can only target living units. Interesting. Basilisk armor could be kind of nice. Whenever an enemy unit spell or attack, that unit is petrified for two turns. Uh, right, gotcha. Um, hmm. See, I don't know how best to, to, to build in this game. All other spells gain seven damage. Lasts eight turns. So we could like cast that right away. Let's uh, also look at some skills. These would cost all of my skill points. Whenever you cast the last charge of your arcane spell, your next non-arcane spell is free for one turn. Whenever a unit is killed by arcane damage, that unit explodes for 12 arcane damage in a three tile square, melting walls on unaffected tiles. I kind of like that. If you have no shields, gain one shield. Okay, that's really nice. So now we gain a skill. We, we gain a shield whenever we uh, cast a spell, basically. So we're gonna we're gonna gain quite a lot of uh, survivability that way. I, we are poisoned, unfortunately. Doesn't really work in this situation because we are getting hit constantly. These guys also um, spread poison like all around them. So we're out of magic missiles. We're unfortunately gonna have mm -hmm. to use a potion. We want to hit this gate. So do we have, do we, are we getting shields? I thought we were getting shields. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on, let me just double check that I understand how this works. Whenever you cast an arcane spell, if you have no shields, gain one shield. Yeah, so we should gain a skill, a shield. We might lose it right away, but that's okay. Okay. 
We have another, we have an opportunity to gain some more um, spells in this field also, because we can, we can use our skill points to gain some other spells. So do we have a shield? It's hard to tell, honestly. Oh yeah, one shield. We have one shield right now. I'm assuming one shield um, protects us for one turn, like one attack. That's, it seems to me that that is happening. Cause we, we attack a bat and then we um, get attacked and then we, d we take no damage. Okay, we're gonna have to use, oh, we're out of mana potions. That's it. Yo, that's, it's done though. Jeez. Oh, there's a mana potion right there. Okay, use it. Kinda wish I'd got taken that one that makes enemies explode. Let's hope I can survive. Uh, do you think I can, I can do that? I can't quite reach the gate. I need to make sure I'm only getting attacked once per turn. I think I should be able to survive. That was cutting it really close. We're probably gonna have to use this portal key on the next floor. Okay, um, so we need another spell. Unfortunately, I can't take the one that, like, explodes creatures. Let's take another arcane spell. Something with a lot of charges. Disperse? No, that's not good enough. Maybe Hungry Maw, but it only has six charges. Um, glass Orb, four charges. Summon a Glass Orb next to the caster. Each turn, the orb inflicts Glassify on enemy units in a three-tile area. <clears throat> they cannot act gain um they gain resist oh they they're more res um vul vulnerable to physical damage all other spells gain seven damage all other spells gain range each turn randomly deal two damage or two dark damage to each enemy in a seven tile radius void beam deals 25 arcane damage and destroy walls in a beam that's kind of nice Yeah, let's take that. Can we can we learn one more spell? Deals. Yeah, all right. Let's learn that as well. Um, I'm probably gonna need my healing potion. The next one is sorcery. Sorcery works pretty well. There's another arcane circle though. And the, yeah, both of these are the same. Unfortunately, we have ghosts and witches. I think they're resistant to arcane. We have mind maggot and fire lizards okay i think that they would be easier to take on maybe and we have two gates right next to each other so let's go ahead and do that so this is a beam it's gonna do damage in like a line so we're gonna want to take advantage of that whenever we can you know kill kill more than one thing at a time Can we kill the last one as well? Nice. So that's all the gates destroyed. That's actually really good. Um, okay, so I don't know how this... Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. So could we do something like this? Yes. Blaze Rip. That's a really interesting spell. I've never seen anything like that. I'm gonna take out a couple of creatures at a time here, and that's actually gonna help a lot. We should be able to make it through this. Oh. Oh, you could hit me. I didn't realize that. But we did it. We did it. So we can get our SP. Um, I'll heal now, and we can, uh, maybe upgrade our spells. Uh, we got a mana potion, so we're actually good now, so I wouldn't mind learning something that, that spell that melts. 
people. What is this? Wait, this is, is this our arcane? Sorcery. Oh, whoops. Uh, I probably did know that. All right, so we're going to have to, we might want to learn some sorcery spells then. We could learn like death bolt, fireball. Basically everything is sorcery. We could upgrade our magic missile. Max charges, damage, holy bolt. Our un undead unit, it deals holy damage in addition to arcane damage. Could be good. If magic, magic missile targets a living unit, it deals poison, dark, and physical damage instead of arcane. Interesting. Um, we could increase the max charges and damage. Kind of want to do that. What's annihilate? It deals a bunch of damage, like three chunks of damage all at once. Uh, poison sting. Is poison for 30 turns. Takes one damage of poison each turn, right? Um, I have fire. Oh, that's not uh, sorcery. Healing light. Heal all allies. That's not going to work for us. Blaze rip is nice. If wait, wait, that's sorcery already. We already have some sorcery. Could we take a sorcery skill? Just crystal power. Your sorcery spells gain two damage for each frozen or glassified enemy. Um, that's nice, but we can't really do that yet. Um, so sorcery is not, not great. Um, so yeah, let's increase our max charges and, uh, damage. Shield burn, gains three shield burn. Removes up to shi three shield from the target before dealing damage. So let's increase our damage as well. We're going to use... Uh, well, we have four spells left. We should use those first. Definitely, we're going to want to head to... Oh, wait. Enhances arcane or ice spells with... For each 33 damage dealt by the spell or a minion, it summons. Summon an ice fairy near a unit it dealt damage to. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do that. And then we could uh, put that on magic missile. Magic Missile is going to be doing 21 damage, so that means it should summon a fairy every two times I cast it. I was kind of hoping I could hit both these, the gate and this cultist at once. But I don't think I can. I should have probably put it on the uh, beam, huh? Because it does 25 damage and destroys walls, and, and we can cast it like and, and hurt like three things at once. Yeah, that's it's kind of my bad. Um, okay, I'm trying to figure out how best to do this. Let's do like that. This, this spell is cool, but it's hard to, like, really use it optimally. It doesn't want to be used optimally. It wants to do what it wants to do. I'm just going to get rid of that gate. Then we're going to cast another beam. And then we're going to, to take a potion. Oh, my God. We are taking damage. Um, let's get Let's teleport away. And we're going to magic missile this guy. I think I'm going to die. Hopefully I can um, dole out enough damage to create enough fairies that I can I can survive this, but I'm, I'm not doing well. There's a healing potion on this floor. If I can just survive this floor... That would make a big difference. Um, void beam. I should be using void beam. Can we do a blaze rip? That would be a good spot. Yes. So 
So these guys are all asleep. So I, I, I think maybe our fairies can do the rest of the damage for us. Nope. These guys are quite beefy. They have 66 health. All right, that was really close, but we made it. Okay, um, yeah, let's use that healing potion right away. So we have dark circle and extra health. We should go for extra health, but there's nothing else on that floor. So actually, I think I'm gonna go for dark circle maybe, but there's a lot of creatures on that floor. What are these guys weak to? Uh, they resist dark. These guys resist fire. That's okay, we don't do any of that. So this would actually not be a terrible floor for us because we could we could uh, you know hurt everything. We could summon like here. We could do uh, a void beam and kill off maybe two things at once there. And then we could start summoning some fairies. Um, all right, this should work. Nice. I wanna, I think you, you, uh, it's best to use the, your magic missiles against things that can act like, that actually have health. That way you're actually doing that damage and not just like, wasting that extra damage and then you get to summon more fairies okay there's got to be a good opportunity for a void uh, a laser beam here a void beam oh i'm being attacked right now didn't realize uh and i'm out of spells oh, fortunately we have another mana potion Okay, um, I also do have, I am still generating shields, which is nice. Okay, now we have to use a mana potion. This is a great opportunity for a beam. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. There's still two gates on the, on the field. So we, we are gonna have to deal with that. Um, how much health do these guys have? Not a lot, but enough to generate some fairies. Nice. All right, get some more fairies. Let them do some some work, if any. Need to. I need to get rid of that gate. All right. So we cast a lot of spells there, but that's okay. We have a lot of um, charges. So I wonder if there's some carryover for um, these are these are all arcane and sorcery. So we want arcane or sorcery and dark. Let's see what we can do. Arcane, dark, whoops. Arcane and dark. Um, well, there's the classic Death Bolt. Death Bolt is quite nice. I still like Death Bolt. Um, Ghost Ball, Mercurize. Sorry, Mercurize. Afflict the target with Mercurize. The target takes two poison damage and two physical damage each turn for six turns. If the target dies while cursed, it is raised as a Quicksilver Geist. They're flying undead. This is only dark. I wanted dark and arcane. There are no spells that fall under that jurisdiction. There's only death bolt. Okay. Hmm. I didn't necessarily want conjuration. Okay, so dark and sorcery. Tuth touch of death. Deal 200 dark damage to one unit in melee range. Soul tax. Deal damage to target unit equal to one third of its health as holy damage and then one third of its remaining health as dark damage. Heal the caster for the total amount of damage dealt. Interesting. 
Do we have some dark spells we could learn? Or sorry, skills? Ghost fire takes dark damage and fire damage. No. Nope. Summon your summoned undead units gain hunger. That would have been nice. Uh, Mega Venom. Poisoned enemies take four additional poison. Whenever you summon an undead, nope. Acid flames. Fume, sorry. Each turn, a random unacidified un un enemy is acidified. Acidified units lose 100 poison resist. Collected agony. Each turn, deal two damage, two times the sum total of poison. All poison damage dealt to all units to the nearest enemy as dark damage. Interesting. Whenever an enemy dies to dark damage, up to three random enemies in line of sight of that enemy are stunned. That's kind of nice, but uh, we're not doing that. We're not really doing dark damage. So get plus one lightning damage for each undead ally you control. What about this one? This one's arcane dark. Whenever you or one of your arcane or undead allies take damage from an enemy, Deal five arcane damage to the source of that damage. That's kind of interesting. We could take that and it would actually help us. We could take that and then plan to take undead bolt. Because we, like we are, I know we're not summoning a lot, but um, that would deal out, dole out enough damage to be worth it. And then we could try and build into it later. Probably not the best idea, but you know. So these guys are troll, geomancer, sorcery circle. So that would be, that's tempting. These are nature circle. Uh, this has two mana potions. We don't have any health healing potions at all. But that's okay because we have no opportunities to take to get more. So uh, I guess we're off to this zone if we can survive. Um, this is going to be dicey, but I think it's worth going here and then we can do a blaze rip like right away to get rid of two gates. Okay, we're going to take a lot of damage in a second. I'm probably going to die right here. Can we do a uh, beam? I only have six HP left. Yeah, I play. I think I pl played it probably a bit too aggressively. Um, portal key, portal disruptor. There's not really anything I can do. Go out in a blaze of glory. Do as much damage as possible. Yeah. Well, I definitely did a lot of damage there. All right. Well, these uh, these episodes are ending up being very short. But uh, that's because I'm, I'm trying to experiment with um, learning the spells. I don't have a solid grasp of like what all of the spells available are or how to build properly. But that's, be you know, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn as, as good as I can. Um, all right. I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And if you have some tips you want to throw in the comments, that would be super appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Take it easy.